Welcome, let's discuss the area of a rhombus. Remember that a rhombus, it's a four-sided figure where all sides are congruent to each other. And to think about the area of any rhombus, we're going to take in consideration the diagonals of this rhombus. Let's start by looking at the perimeter of this rhombus. And now let's draw both of the diagonals. That's our first. And that's our second. Remember, the one property for rhombus is the diagonals bisect each other. Now let's look at the interior angles of this rhombus. They are of the same value. And now notice that we have four different triangles. Now we're going to rearrange the order of these triangles to create a rectangle. So what we have shown is that we can think of the area of the rhombus as if it was the area of a rectangle. Well, remember that the area of a rectangle, it was base times height. And notice that the base of this rectangle that we have created, it is equal to one of the diagonals of the rhombus. And the height of this rectangle, it is half of the second diagonal in this rhombus. So now we can define the area of the rhombus as the multiplication of the first diagonal, I'm going to call D1, times half of the second diagonal, I'm going to call that D2. And to rearrange this, we can say that it's just one half of the multiplication of the first diagonal times the multiplication of the second diagonal. So we have defined the area of the formula, which we can use to find the area of the rhombus that is always going to be equal to one half times the multiplication of the first diagonal times the multiplication of the second diagonal. Let's take a look at an example. Given the following rhombus, let's find the area of it. Let's remind ourselves that we have said that the area for any rhombus, it is one half times the multiplication of the length of both diagonals in a rhombus. Let's start by finding the length of the first diagonal. Let's consider the horizontal line to be our first diagonal. Notice that we are only given half of the measurement of this diagonal, three centimeters. But one property about diagonals is that they bisect each other. So therefore, if this length is of three centimeters, then the other section of the same diagonal is also three centimeters. So now we know that the length of the first diagonal is of six centimeters. And we can apply the same strategy to find the length of the second diagonal in a rhombus. We're given that this section, it's only four centimeters, but we know that diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, this bottom section is also of four centimeters. So now we can say that the second diagonal, it's of a value of eight centimeters. So now we have everything that is needed to find the area of this rhombus. It is equivalent to one half times the length of the first diagonal, which we found it to be six, times the length of the second diagonal, which we found it to be eight. So now it's just a matter of multiplying this. That will be equal to 24 centimeters square. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 